Hello YouTubers, what is up? CD Magaka here, coming to you with another Ninja Guide Sigma 2 chapter walkthrough while playing on Master Ninja Mode. We're on chapter 15! Sweet! Only two more freaking chapters to go. And then it's over with Sigma 2. Then it's over. I'll be a little... I don't know. Somber? Sober? Not, not sober. I don't do alcohol. I'll be a little sad. But also, fantastically happy because I don't have to play this game for quite some time. <laughs> uh, I've played this way too much. I don't find much joy in it. Or much motivation to play it. Still love it though. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Hold on, I gotta mess with my mic here. That looks about right. I hope this will sound good at least. Whatever though. We got a we get a blue light Muramasa shop right in front of us. This will be the second to last blue light Muramasa shop at least so far in my run throughs. I have not found another blue light Muramasa shop, and because of that, there's no blue light Muramasa shop in Chapter 17, and so you can't upgrade all, every single one of your weapons to the maximum level. If you ignore the Dragon Sword and the Dragon Claw Tiger Fang, Fang, excuse me. If you ignore upgrading those to level three, you should have room for at least one more weapon. Anyways, enough talk about that. Let's talk about the marionettes. These guys are pretty simple to take down. They're just any normal machines. I'm using the Tompas again. I'm using a one charge UT. Well, it took two right there. I failed. Let's see. Second charge UT works pretty well on these guys. As you can see, they, the strikes mostly stick to them. Unlike with the chainsaw, but unlike with the zombie bazooka guys, where the they usually get like blown away by those couple strikes. But for the most part, it seems to stick with them. Jump around, chain UTs, you should be fine destroying them. Watch out for their explosions, I do believe they can damage you. Although minorly, damage is damage. Anyways, now we got a couple charges, excuse me, some charging Ben Gills to take care of, just use whatever weapon you want, I'm just going with Lunar, because of the three iframes it gives you when you let it run. Oh yeah. Just dodging around, jumping on their heads to stun them, waiting for the essence, there we go. Whoa! Oh, that, that's not cool. Shit, my recorder must have froze up. Damn it. I did not see that. Shoot. Well, either way, I think you get the, the basic idea. I mean, all you have to do is kind of outplay them. You shoot them with arrows, occasionally you'll delimit them, but you'll definitely stop them. OTs for iframes are necessary. Right here, I get a little cheeky. I do a uh, Lunar 360 that doesn't. That's not a UT, and I delimit them. Although it could have gone either way. I got lucky. With that right here, if you need to, there's a devil mushroom with, so you can use a nimpo if you need to, use whatever you would like. I don't need it though. Cut out again? Marvis, my video is converting. No, that might not be it. Whatever. Marvis time! This is a save point, you might as well go ahead and use it, even though, because this path gets blocked off once you go fight Marvis, you can't go back down, so even though if you don't need the save point, it, you just can't use it, period. Semi retarded, anyway, I guess it's time for comedy. What big eyes you have. <laughs> now this is ironic. I never expected you to come to the underworld of your own free will. Ironic? I don't care what you call it. Stay out of my way. Not a man of words Such for you. It's more like a man of cutting out your throat. I'm not going to let a perfectly good chance of revenge slip through my fingers. He's still mad at Ryu, even though after the ass kicking we gave him with Rachel, he's still mad at Ryu. Alright, with Marbus, we got a little, it's more or less the same as last time, it's just again, he's accompanied by three yellow fiends, they'll attack you as they attack you, but we do have some advantages, for one we have a much more flexible character, which I find ironic, because you would think a female character would be more flexible than their male counterpart, but nope. Anyways, as you see, I'm just using the True Dragon Sword and using a Zuna Drops. Why not the Kusaragama? Well, the Kusaragama's combos, they leave you open a bit to Marvis' attacks. And I find that the Zuna Drop gives you plenty of iframes, as well as it does a good job of killing them all outright all the same. Also, it has a chance of taking off their heads, so that means it'll drop health. Basically, what we we're going to do is keep our distance from Marvis, and then after he does his little dash spin attack that we just dodged, we're going to get in there close and hit him with our Steel Cutter combo. Which is square, 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 triangle. Three squares in the triangle. Right there. Shaves off the health. It shaves off 
enough of his health to be quite um, effective. Uh, yeah, I would not recommend using the Eclipse Scythe on Marvis like I did with Rachel, just spamming UT. He seems to be a lot more vicious in his attacks. And just overall, let's, we have Ryu now. We can play a different style and we might as well use it. This is a bit more defensive and it's a, definitely a lot riskier than Rachel's method. Here we go again, flying into an Azuna drop takeout. We got one guy that we can just go right into the next one. Let's see, he absorbed that, so we're trying to dodge. Fortunately, the little fiend gives us gives us some iframes to work with. Take off two of his arms, get some more health. So it's stacking up pretty well. Jumping around, jumping around. Again, you have to trigger him. You have to get him to do his spin attack, though. Like, this attack right here in order to be able to attack him. So you have to keep your distance. If you stay close, all he's going to do is hover around you and do the short dash attacks like that. At you. Every now and then, after we damage him so up much, more he'll call more of the minions in. Fortunately, also with the Azuna drop, you'll usually take off one of their limbs as well while doing the combo. And so you, that leaves him free for an OT, meaning more iframes for us to use. I'm trying to find the last one right here. That's one dead. That's one thing about these guys that makes them a bit more lethal than usual is that the camera focuses on Arbus, and so we're prone to more off-screen attacks. But no matter, I wrap them up all the same because. Well, I'm me. Damn it. Like that. Don't get too um, uh, frivolous with your cuts. Marbus will recover, and if he hits you with that throw, I think it's a one hit kill. And by the throw, I mean when he kind of jumps up and does this little swipe at you. Occasionally, he'll just, you know, get up. But sometimes he will attempt to grab. So just do the steel cutter combo and then dash away. You should be just fine. And he turns to stone. We amputated the leg, it turned into. Weed! Look at the weed we can smoke! Oh shit. Magwa! Magwa! Magwa with my mayonnaise! That was weird. That's the only word that sticks to me from that stupid chant, Magwa. Anyways, right here, I was thinking I could go back to the save point and whatnot, but uh, it's blocked off, and there's our save point right there. I'm like, oh, okay. So, I guess you don't have a free Nimpo to use for the boss fight, but if you have to, use uh, Windmill, the, the wind. Shoot, I forgot the name. <laughs> That's never happened to me before. Windblades, there you go. Oh, that was awkward. If you have to use the Windblades Nimpo to take care of the fiends that uh, accompany Marvis. Anyways, more Bengals, easy stuff to do. Two of them, coming up the path, plenty of time to charge, no sweat. And I hope you all are working on getting those basics I've talked about down. And I know I don't really talk about them much ever since chapter one. So if you need like a refresher course about some of the basics of fighting and whatnot, just I think if you revis revisit some of my earlier commentaries with Ninja Guide Sigma 2, you should get them kind of in your head, so that's a little free review thing. Anyways, dodging around, avoiding their attacks, centering the camera on them by stunning them with an arrow, hitting R1, delimbing them. Right here, the camera kind of screws me. Ah! Just trying to get some breathing room. There we go. Jump. Ah, but the pounce gets him, and I rip off his head. In your face! What face, exactly? Little celebration dance right there. I'm checking for more Ben Gills. I thought the camera got off centered. Anyways, we got Ghostfish right here, which I barely escaped. So that's probably a Ghostfish or Essence chest. Anyways, we're coming up on. Well, we're almost out of time for this video. I'm just gonna slide down the hill. There's no new action apart from this. I guess I'll see you guys in Chapter 15, Part 2. Gotta love Hell or the Underworld. Either way, I like to think of it as Hell. Anyways, we'll see you later, guys.